What's happening? This is Cameron Chadukian here with the Daily Developer Show. This is the show where we talk every single day about how you can become a better developer and how to optimize your lifestyle as a developer. Now, what I want to talk to you about in this video are the two paths you can take to successfully learn software development. And as you can see here, uh, I don't got I don't have my normal chair that I'm sitting in today. Um, which uh, I'll show you around. It's actually uh, pretty much an identical copy of my old room, except this one is uh, it's a little bit cheaper because it's in a less convenient uh, area, so to speak. So yeah, it's a little bit messy because I just moved in. It's a little small, but you know. Oops, sorry, I locked my door. Yeah, but I got got my hallway and kitchen. And anyway, let's get back to it. This is not a vlog. I am not Chris Sean. So let's get back to what we're talking about. The two ways you can successfully learn software development. And then we'll, as a bonus, we'll talk about the way that things, uh, that you're probably going to fail if you follow that approach. So... Here's what you can do. Approach number one to learning software development is what I call the boot camp or immersion approach. And basically what this means is you're the type of person where, I, where uh, you are, what is it, Parkinson's law? You are the person that is Parkinson's law to the max. Basically meaning if I give you three or four months to learn web development, you can do it because you feel that urgency. On the other hand, if I say it's going to take you a year to learn web development, but just practice a couple, maybe one or two hours a day. Uh, on that hand, if I tell you that, if you're the, the immersion kind of person, you're like, oh, a year? That's so long. And you're going to get demotivated and you're not going to be able to do it. So. If you're the immersion type of person, basically that approach means uh, you're going to learn web development very quickly. You're going to work long hours and you're just going to focus on learning web development. You're not going to be working a full-time job and doing the immersion approach. You're just going to be coding day in and day out. I was actually talking to a guy from Vietnam on Facebook and he said, I started coding in August and by December... I was already applying to jobs and I'd actually gotten a job offers at that point. So you figure that was about four months for that guy to go from never t having touched code or a very basic understanding to being employed. So it's definitely possible if you're able, he said he's putting in eight to ten hours a day. So if you're able to do that, if you're the person that gets demotivated easily by having something on a long time frame, you could do that. And I'm kind of envious of you if you are able to do that. So what happens, though, if you're the type of person that can't do that? For example, I found that I have kind of a, a personality that's less conducive to that. I found that I can do many different work projects, and no, no matter how much you put on my plate... I can get about 10 hours of coding in a week. You can give me a 40-hour 9-to-5 job. You can give me a 50-hour job. And I'll go put in my 40 or 50 hours at that job. And then I'll still get about 10 hours or so of coding in. Whereas other people, they, if they, they would just be like, Oh, I'm so tired. I, I, I can't get any coding in. Me, I thrive on the variety of that. Um, however, maybe the last week or two... I have had no such projects um, outside of coding, and despite that, I've only been able to put in maybe 20, 20 hours of coding and then another 5 to 10 hours of networking per week. I found it very difficult. So I'm the kind of person that really thrives on this approach that, uh, listen, coding is going to be the side hustle, and... It will become the full-time thing once I get a job because then it will not be so isolating 
and I'll be able to learn with other people and I'll be able to work in a team and that'll be a lot more motivating. So figure out which type of personality are you. Are you the person that come hell or high water, it doesn't matter what life is throwing at you, you can get in your hour of coding every day. Or are you the type of person that gets easily distracted by having to work on other projects and that the and the only way you're going to be able to learn to code is just diving fully into it. And I get and I get that this is very uh, quote unquote binary meaning we're looking at things in a black and white way, right? We're all somewhere on this spectrum. You are not either or, you're somewhere in the middle, but maybe you probably lean more heavily towards one or the other. But figure out what sh- what your personality is and doing that will allow you to structure how you should go about learning things and not feel guilty if you fall off track. For example, before I made this video, I was feeling very guilty about the fact that I'm very good at putting in 10 to 20 hours a week of coding on my own, and I can do that in isolation, and no matter what, I will get that done, but I struggle to do I to just sit in a room for 40 to 60 hours alone without having being able to talk to clients without having experience and uh, working with these tools that I just I don't have an I don't have experience with you cannot put me in a room for 50 hours and say learn redux this week you have 50 hours that is going to be a dip really a, a very real challenge for me whereas for you if I said listen you got to work 50 hours this week at your job, and then you got to come home and work for another 15 hours. Maybe that's a struggle for you. So figure out which type you are, come to terms with where you're at, and understand the benefits of both. If you're the type that can learn through immersion, listen, you can quit your job. You don't need that much money saved um, to be able to learn and then get job ready, right? So maybe if you're spending $1,500 a month, maybe you can quit your job with Ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars. Maybe you only need six to eight months of living expenses because you're just going to go hard, and you're going to be job ready in three, four months, maybe five months. Or maybe you're the person like me where you can work and you can keep your finances afloat. You can even continue to build your finances, but it's going to be slower for you to get a job. And Let's talk about, these were the two people that will eventually succeed in web development and getting a job, but now let's talk about the person that will not succeed. The person that will not succeed is the person that does not recognize which of these two types they are. Uh, there was a, I think there's a guy named Andy, I forget what his last name was, but he, he had a new video and he said, do not be a perfectionist when learning to code, right? Don't make this plan that um, you're going to work your full-time job and you're going to come home every day for six hours and code every single day. And if you ever fail, you're a failure and you should beat yourself up. Don't get into that mentality. Why? Because that would be amazing. And I, to anybody that can pull that off, I give you the most the most the utmost respect. I am envious of you. Um, but the reality is most of us, if we try to do that, we're going to come home from our job. Maybe we can be successful one day, maybe two days, but by the end of a week or two, we're going to fail. We're going to fall flat on our faces because that's, we, we, we're not, we don't have that kind of capacity or at least we haven't developed that capacity yet. Um, so, then it's very easy to say, you know what, I'm never going to get there and give up. So what is the key takeaway? I know I'm ranting now. The key takeaway is know which learning style is compatible with your personality and understand that if you find a learning style that's compatible with you and you stick to that learning style, you will learn code and you will eventually be able to get a job and improve your life circumstances. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe because, again, remember, as I love to say, this is the Daily Developer Show, so we're at this every single day. I'll see you tomorrow.